Hey guys, it's Chris from Simply Japanese Maples. And if you haven't noticed, I've got this sun hat on. It's sunny here. We're in summer. It's not cooking out here, but it's going to be soon. I know a lot of you have had super hot temperatures and we definitely have some hot temperatures on the way. So today we're going to talk about Japanese maples that are heat tolerant. Let's get into it. Okay, so we had a customer that came over and the question was posed, are there any Japanese maples that are good in full sun? This person, not, not a stupid question at all, not, not at all, but it took me aback because A, this person is a landscaper and B, I think a lot of us know that yes, some Japanese maples can go in full sun. Uh, many people may not know that a ton of different Japanese maples can go in full sun and that's what we're gonna to touch on today. We're gonna to talk about some of the best heat sun resistant varieties of Japanese maples. So without blabbling on any further, let's get the camera on some of those and, uh, and have a look at those beauties. Okay, so we've got, I didn't count here, but we've got about 15 or so varieties of incredibly heat resistant Japanese maples here. Let's start over on the left hand side. We've got Acer palmatum shana, this incredible dwarf broom. And that is an incredibly, incredibly heat resistant variety. Look at that excellent red color right now with some of that green tinge to some of the uh, interior parts of the leaves. Really cool. And you'll recall from previous videos that the dead giveaway often is when it's a, from a broom is this shortened middle node on the leaf. Now, not all the leaves have it, but a lot of them do. And when you see that, you, you'll know that if you don't already know, that is from a broom grafted piece of tissue. So pretty cool. Anyway, so those tend to have this clustered, closed uh, leaf growth habit and uh, often very dense. So anyway, that's Acer palmatum shana. Next to that, now this was a big shock to me when I discovered this is a heat tolerant variety and this is Amber Ghost. Now, as you know, most of our ghosts, they like their afternoon protection from the hot sun with this reticulated, very sensitive leaf structure. But Amber Ghost is an exception. So that is pretty cool. I have heard of this being in full sun in a hot place such as Georgia in the US. So uh, definitely doable in hot sun. That was news to me when I discovered that. Behind that, we've got Summer Gold. Now the yellow varieties typically are more sensitive to sun. Summer gold is an exception. I've seen orium out in full sun, but summer gold is a tree that typically if you plant it the first year, it's gonna be uh, potentially burn, but then after it settles in, it's gonna be a rock star. Now this guy is in a pot. It's in full sun till two o'clock every day, and it does exceptionally well. You can see it's got that, just a flush of seeds on there. Okay, we've got uh, Acer palmatum Osakazuki. This is also an incredible, uh, fairly large leaf tree that does great in full sun. And as you probably know, it's got that incredible fall color. So that's Osakazuki. Besides that is Tumukiyama, a tree that's been in cultivation for more than 300 years. Thank you very much. We've got Shishigashira, our lion's head maple. Oh, such a great tree. Then we've got Siriu up here. We've done a couple of videos on Siriu's. We've got Kiyu Haimi, a dwarf wide spreader and very vigorous, might add. Might add. Uh, Inabashidari dissectum, also an old cultivar. Beside that is Sukasa Silhouette. Now, Sukasa Silhouette definitely demands full sun otherwise that narrow profile you get with Sukasa Silhouette will start to widen out. So great performer, full sun. Uh, over here, we've got Emperor One. Folks, if you want a medium sized red maple, about 15 feet tall eventually, Emperor One is classic for that. Another awesome heat sun tolerant tree and been called bulletproof is waterfall. 
and I definitely concur that it is bulletproof. I would also call Siriu bulletproof. So moving down here, we've got Orangeola. Orangeola has really cool colors. Oftentimes the colors start getting greened out a little bit into summer, and then you get this reddy, lighty pink red colors popping on top of some of that old growth green. This one's actually pretty red, but uh, that's kind of the general thing that it does. It's a small tree though, so. Over here, we've got Fire Glow. Who doesn't love Fire Glow? Look at the light coming through those leaves. So Fire Glow, another slower grower than Emperor One, but around the same size eventually, about 15 feet tall. And that is also an excellent heat tolerant variety. And finally, we've got Acer Palmatum Ryusin. Look at the cascading branches on this tree. So that's a small sampling of a number of heat, sun, ver uh, tolerant Japanese maples that are out there. Uh, most of these varieties we do have typically throughout the year or early in the season that we sell Ryus and Siriu, Fire Glow, Emperor One, Shishigashira, etc. Um, all amazing trees, guys, in full sun. Now, the caveat to heat and sun tolerance is going to be. There is going to be some variance potentially when they're in a container versus in the ground. So generally, generally when I'm talking about here, these are heat and sun tolerant. We're talking uh, landscape plants now, which is not to say that some of these trees are not great even in containers and going to have that same heat and sun tolerance. I'm just saying we're focusing on the landscape sort of uh, planted trees. And of course, the different circumstances. If you have your trees in containers, we've talked about this in other videos, they're gonna need a lot more of your personal care um, and attention versus those trees that are kind of left to their own devices and get established in the landscape. So do you ever have any questions about, you know, container versus landscape, or is this variety uh, heat resistant? Don't hesitate to reach out. Folks, I hope you got something out of this today. There are a ton of Japanese maples that are heat and sun tolerant and i use the word tolerant but I, I think that's kind of doesn't give credit to the trees because uh, a lot of these trees can do full sun in hot hot places without any difficulties so people are growing japanese maples from up here in canada um, to all the way down in dallas and all across the world so they grow in all kinds of different conditions and they are just incredible plants. So if you don't know it already, Simply Japanese Maples, we are a mail order nursery located in British Columbia. We ship trees from our door to your door, coast to coast in Canada. It's what we do. We've been doing it for three years and we've got many more years ahead of us. Simplyjapanesemaples.ca. Thanks for tuning in.